Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2021 R1, we're going to talk about CRM built-in side panels. So you can see on my screen here, I'm looking at a list of opportunities. We have a few at the top. You can see the status and this different stage that they're in, the total amount, when we estimate that this will close. On the right-hand side, you can see our side panel window. And over here, if we highlight a particular record, the way the side panels work, we can get information in these various different categories. Now, Acumatica lets us create these different types of side panels ourselves. But in 2021 R1, in the CRM area of Acumatica, we now have some predefined ones. So the first one is opportunities. So as we're highlighting our opportunity here, you get a profile page and you can get a preview of that particular opportunity. You can get into all the different areas of that opportunity. So you can go to document details if there's an estimate that's there from manufacturing. You can go in and you could look at your quotes or your attributes. Everything about the opportunity screen is shown in this side panel view. Over here, we can click on contacts. So these are the contacts that are related to this particular company. So again, as I select a different company, you can see there's a couple of different contacts for Alta Ace. And if we wanted to, we can click to open up that contact to see additional information about it. Additionally, we can also see all of the quotes that are available to this opportunity. So there's one quote to process. If we have Acumatica's quote approval system on, you'll see this will show there, the quotes to approve. You can get into the quote directly from here. And you can also see the products and services that we're trying to sell. And opportunity 396 shows one quote. Here's the quote itself with the description and the status, the current status, total amount. But it also shows any items that are on that quote. See that example here. If we click on this view, we can see any sales orders. So this brings up related sales orders to our opportunity. Notice the parameter at the top. It's being pre-filled in for us. As we navigate different opportunities, it will change over here. So this is the related sales orders as a result of this opportunity. And we're also seeing different customer opportunities. So this panel is more of a dashboard screen. So it's a dashboard we've linked with a parameter passing on that information and showing the related items to that opportunity. This panel will show any invoices for this particular customer, the total balance, any invoices that need to be approved or on credit hold. Lastly, if we click on this view, we can see any service related history to an opportunity. If we select this field and we take out the opportunity ID, you can see that there's a service order here and we can click on it to open it. You can also see additional service order history. And keep in mind, all of these can be changed and configured to better fit the visibility that your employees need. Moving ahead, if we go to business accounts. So in the business account view, you can see a lot of different side panels here. This is a profile for the business account. This is a list of contacts. This is a dashboard panel showing all the opportunities for this business account. This shows a list of all the sales order activity, orders to ship, late orders, shipments in progress. Very nice dashboard. You can get to these individual orders by clicking on the link. Over here, you can see an accounts receivable snapshot, any payment history and invoice history. This icon will show us a list of cases that are open. All the cases, anything that's pending, we're waiting for customers. Very valuable because if you get an incoming call from a customer, the business account screen is typically where you want to land. You can search on your customer here and find out if there's any pending cases. And any open cases you have links to right here. You also have a case history. So by month, how many cases has the customer opened up? Again, very beneficial information if you're trying to get bird's eye view into what the customer might be experiencing. 
Our next view allows us to see service information. So notice again, it passed the customer ID up to the top. Select on another business account. You can see this customer has nine service orders without appointments. We better get on that. Service order history, what this current status is, and appointment history. This view shows current customer equipment. So on our service order module, we give you the ability to track any equipment that the customer has, their serial numbers, and their warranty status. So you can get to that information here. This is related to the customer that we're selected here. And this also reflects any company equipment we might have at the customer's location. It's been checked out. This view here shows your customer contracts, accounts receivable contracts in Acumatica, as this shows your service contracts that are in Acumatica and the different types of billing, when the contracts may expire or get renewed and their current statuses. This view shows project history. So if you're using Acumatica's project accounting, you can get an idea of draft quotes or any quotes that we're looking for approval. Here's all your project quote history. You can get to them right here. And if we make this a little bit bigger, our side panels do let you adjust. And Acumatica's responsive design now shows a couple of different columns of information. You can see the columns here a little bit clearer and their statuses. One more screen that has different views, different side panels on it is the cases screen. So if we take a look and bring up the cases screen, it's a list of cases here that you can get into and see their statuses. On the right hand side, again, are our side panels. So this gives us a profile of the particular case, support case. This gives us a list of customer contracts that maybe we're using to service this customer and their cases. This view gives us a list of any related cases, but at the bottom, per this customer, Veracity Credit Consultants, there's two cases. We can click on that to open those. Cases we're waiting for customer responses on and a total list of open customer cases. This view shows any customer sales orders. So if we switch to Church of Apostles, you can see a list of customer sales orders and shipments. Over here, we can see accounts receivable invoices. See a total count of balances, invoices to approve and on credit hold, and links to all the invoices that they have. And lastly, this is a visibility into their service orders. If you have Acumatica service order system. So based on the case, in Acumatica, we could link and create a service order for a support case. So with this particular support case, there is no service order. But again, as you highlight through different cases, you'll be able to have that visibility to any related service orders if you're using the service order module. So that's it. That's Acumatica CRM side panels that are out of the box in Acumatica 2021 R1. If you have any questions about this or any other features in Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel and have a great day.